Short and wide, and that really is a gift. Can't bowl there. Well, he started the tournament. Starting these tournaments in good nick is quite important because you want to stay in that rhythm, and it's hard to find the rhythm in the middle of the tournament. But then, since then, he's just hit a bare patch. And England. It's gone after it. Leg side this time. He's not gone for six. They might... No, they won't. Martin Sack is eagle-eyed. Ten for no wicket. A couple important runs. Will be four. A Sky 247.net Super 4. Not many so far this innings. Welcome boundary for the Giants. Yeah, it's become a rarity, isn't it? In the style that the Gulf Giants has come out to play and the style that Dubai Capitals have arrived at the venue. Glorious. Nice with the vertical bat. Finding the gap sweetly through the offside. From him has probably just thrown him off his mark, off the angle at which he was trying to trouble the batters. This is just a freebie, not of a man who's picked up a couple of wickets. And now for Sekandaraza with the ball. Places it very well, Shimran Hetmeyer, batting according to the situation. Again, controlled. He gave himself time by going deeper in his crease. He waited for the ball to reach him. On top of that bounce, try to hit that ball on its head. There was ample acreage where he could get that boundary. He's been looking for that shot a few times tonight. And he's hit that easily in front of Square to bring up the 50 for the Giants. They are 51 for four. He's also now just starting to find another gear, and maybe he feels this is the time. That's a good shot from uh, a top player, James Wins. It is an R actually, and a kind of a cross seam delivery. And look at him, he's a class act. He does generally pick up length very quickly, and he got into position nice and early. The events every time he was quick, he was short, and easy pickings for James Wins. Who's uh, well set now, 28 of 25, 64 for four. They have. Chipping it in the air, in towards a space. Another good effort, this time Ollie Stone. He can't stop the boundary either. At uh, extra cover, look at that shot, inside out. Open the face of the bat to create that gap between extra cover and the mid-off fielder. And he was almost there. He loves swiveling around like that and looking at that leg side boundary. Yeah, that's a poor ball. And that's the signal that he even gave to his captain. Make sure that the short third fielder is in line. He's not too squarish as the backward point fielder. So this is a... Just enough bat. That's very good for the Giants. Not a good start for Kugelain though. He bowled really well, not towards leg side, that delivery. It was a poor, poor delivery. Asking for trouble. Boundary on the first ball from Chris Jordan. It was speed. Gone with the big, ferocious swing. Dominic Drakes searching for boundaries of every single delivery. He does so well again. A 6 and a 40 and the over 14 from it, 110 feet. Not got the radar right at the moment. Uh, Overton, and he's bowling down leg, and that's easy runs. Seven dot net boundary, super four. And this was a super four. Brilliant shot. That should give a lot of confidence to Sam Billings so far. Short delivery, pulled away beautifully by Sam Billings for his second boundary. It was 131.5 set up nicely for Billings and he could time it. Yes, there was a, an element of risk with the mid-wicket in place. Ball was two, but he might get four. 
He's found a way through, desperately needed for the Capitals. And at this stage, they're in trouble, but they have the 100. That's a fine stroke. And preserve his wicket. He was also able to pick up a boundary within the first three deliveries of the over. I also feel that Shanika has to think about that fifth and sixth delivery of the over when the captain is thinking about continuing. After a little blow to the head, he's still found a way through. This is good from Sharnika, good fight. He's a naturally gifted cricketer, Dasun Sharnika. Free scoring batter. Has a very natural swing, so he can adopt a sea ball hit.